So do you guys take questions from people and then you answer them? Kind yeah. Of like a Dear Abby. Yes, exactly like that. So yep, yeah, we just ask people to. We put a tweet out. People ask the questions. It's all about how um, a lot of questions are about do the size matter, right? That's the number I one question. I was just going to ask you what the number one question um, was. The size matter. Um, and I guess oh, it's something that you guys could both answer. Yeah, right? yeah, exactly. So, um, and then a lot of them is actually about cheating. They're all mm. about people handling cheating, which I think is very interesting. But I think that's just everyone's main focus, unfortunately, in a relationship is whether someone's cheating or not. Mm -hmm. it's, it's sad. Yeah. I think the um, does size matter question is probably more, comes more from the single guys, and then mm -hmm. the cheating comes from the people in the relationship. Or how do they meet someone? They're mm -hmm. shy. That's a very popular one. Um, hygiene. There's a lot about hygiene. Mm -hmm. How do I tell my girl that her breath stinks or she stinks down there? And there's a mm -hmm. lot of hygiene. So, does size matter? I personally prefer someone that's bigger, but it doesn't matter. But I can't be with someone that has a smaller dick that doesn't know how to give head. Mm. You have to make up for it orally. Have okay. to. Gotcha. Because I really do. I, I prefer bigger. That's okay. You know what? I mean, that's that's good to be honest i have to say that most of the girls i speak to say that they generally prefer like an average a smaller it does average hurt size. if it's too big and you know i rather have i rather have smaller than a giant one mm -hmm. that's not does nothing for me what's your so like what's the ideal size i would say an eight a an solid eight. eight a solid eight yes yeah, i mean that's 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 a pretty decent size a solid eight <laughs> <laughs> Because guys usually suck at head, so I just rather yeah. not even mess with that, not even try to teach them, none of it. It just takes too much. I'd rather just be pleased with something they already naturally have. Okay, so let's say I'm a guy and I'm, I don't have an eight-incher, yeah. but I really want to you know, make you happy. How, how do I get better at head? I, you have to listen to what the girl is saying. You have to make the girl feel comfortable enough to tell you what – she wants, and I think it's really important for a guy to be like, tell me what you want. Tell me if you like it. Like, be the person to open that part up and then actually listen to what she's saying. Mm -hmm. And I think it's all about communication. Like, does this feel good? And, and the girl saying, yes, it does, or mm -hmm. I want you to do this. Mm -hmm. And pay attention. Yeah. Don't get so crazy into it that you, you know, can't even listen to what she's saying. And another fuck up that I think guys do is when the girl's coming, they – automatically are like let me just go even harder yeah you're you're you need to stay whatever you're doing needs to stay yeah that's how you got done. her there in the first yes. place don't just start going crazy yeah yeah you know what i mean like I know all the, exactly what you and mean. then it's like oh you just ruined it <laughs> <laughs> but you can't say that i know it's so i mean it's hard to communicate what you like sexually because you know i think that it it is probably easier for people like you and me at mm -hmm. this point in our lives because we work in the adult industry and there's so much communication in the adult yeah. industry. That's like what it's all about because it's a job. But, you know, in real life, the movies have sold us this idea that you're just magically attuned to each other mm -hmm. and like everything works out and like he knows exactly what you want and yeah. you orgasm at the same time. And they, in that, and that things don't really change. Like, you can like something and then be like, I do not like this at all anymore. Yeah. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.